So hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another private capital next video. And in today's video, I'll show you. It's again, it's gonna be a tutorial on how to do FMC programming in uh, Boeing 737 800. I'm actually doing this video because I told you guys that this video coming soon in my first video of this channel, which I'll just link up here you can just go and watch that video after watching this video so without wasting any time let's get started so when you will come into the flight sim it will open up it will open up something like this and actually the cold and dark startup is also done so if you want to do see how to do that you can I'll just put that video in the i button so you can go and watch this watch that video I'm sorry so whenever you come it's gonna be something like this and here you can see this is the FMC panel so there are two ways one you can just do it like this but that's a little bit un inconvenient so what you can do is just click and it will open up in front of you so like this so it will be like this when your aircraft is started so just go to route menu pilot route list flight plan if you don't want to do this you are on the index page flight plan and you will come on this page so now what we will do is what we have to do to be precise uh, now in the origin place we'll put our airport of origin so in our case it is 56 Sierra yes guys it's that seaside municipal our home uh, home airport kind of just wait guys there's some bug oh yeah it's done the bug is solved yeah and now oh yeah i forgot to tell you something one way is like like this so our destination airport will put in here so it's k s e a k s e a so you can do that but if you're like me and you are not able to do it like this i know it can just be a little you know not very comfortable not very pleasant state to be in so what you can do is between these two bars if you click they will start blinking and now you can type from your you know from your keyboard so our first route sorry our first waypoint is and viewer it's Astoria regional so ASD this one Four one one four because it doesn't make sense like any six thousand uh, six thousand nautical miles shall we say yeah. and then uh, my next waypoint is OLM which is Olympia VORDME so it's this one one three four zero <clears throat> because this doesn't make any sense, you know, like 3600 nautical miles away. So we'll just select that OLM. And our next waypoint is OLM, then it's Arvard. Arvard, yeah. It's Arvard. Arvard. Then it's Lacey. And then Lacey and then it's some waypoint guys. I don't remember that waypoint. Anyways, doesn't make sense. So anyways, so now we'll go into departure arrival. Select departure. I don't know why my this thing is very strong. Anyways, it's open up. There are no sets for this airport, but if there are sets. Then you will first select your departure runway, then you will select your airport. So, first departure runway, runway 34. But no sets available, 
so no no problem you can just go and execute that and then again we'll go to departure arrival kca and yeah after filling the departure thing if this thing doesn't come so just go to first plan and again type yes yes it will come anyways arrival but for arrival as in set i told you in departure first runway then the set because from runway you are going to set but this time it's opposite first star this time is star last time it was said in the departure thing said means standard instrumental departure and star means standard terminal arrival yeah so now first you will select your star so my star is olm2 arrival run with 34 right so yeah OLM2 isn't available right now as you can see OLM1 because you know the nav data is old so OLM1 works equally fine so just select OLM1 and then I'll select approach ILS 34 right approach and execute that so now our flight planning is complete you it's optional but you can fill the flight number as well so to check our flight plan, we'll go to legs. We'll j just put your cruise altitude so that if you want, you can even use the nav. Yeah, so in this case, it's 17,000 feet. So AST, from this we are going to lace OLM. Then we are going to lacy. Then we are going to hour. Then port. But after that, you can see vectors and discontinuity. These can break your flight plan. So there is very simple way to it. Just copy runway 34. Runway 34 and it is 4. So just put it after 4. And it's done. Just clear those warnings. Anyways, just clear those warnings. So your flight plan is done. Your flight plan is actually this thing only. Then this these koalas and these are just if you need to go around so it's just for that so now to check your flight plan what you can do is here you can go to plan mode just a sec guys i'll go on first page so now it's vor plan mode so now you can see this new thing called step so you can actually go through all your waypoints so if you step so this is runway to the OLM thing I am in OLM VOR AST VOR I am sorry guys AST then we will turn right for OLM right so OLM VOR then this is our route then once we cross over we will turn like this left it should go automatically to next page so you can do it two times so just go port port then run with 34 and then it is the holding pattern so yeah so our flight planning is done so how easy that was anyways anyways i know it's not always easy because you know even actually when I was new to the flight simulator, even I struggled a lot for flight planning. But now it's very easy for me. So, yeah guys. Thank you for watching today's video. I'll see you on Thursday, right? Yeah, Thursday. Bye-bye.